we'll just talk about Mississippi State program goals and, and uh, what we try to get done at Mississippi State. Number one, guys, is develop and build men of the highest character. I think more and more now that you see, uh, you know, what we do is so visible. It's so public, it's so visible, and it's so important. Um, you know, I always ask our guys this. The first day I took the job at, at, at Mississippi State, I said, who are you as a person? You know, I asked the kids in the room, who are you as a person? You know, who are you as an individual? What do you stand for? What's your character? I think we spend so much time trying to uh, coach athletes in football, and we don't spend enough time trying to coach men in life. Uh, ask your kids, you know, who are you as a person? What's important to you? What are, you, what are your morals? What are your values? What are your yeses and what are your noes? Uh, and then sit back and listen and see what these kids have to say. I think you, it, it's interesting uh, with football. You know, there's, there's so many kids, and they have so many different backgrounds. Uh, what they'll tell you and how much they really need you, um, and, and the things that'll come out of their mouth. Who you are as a person is always gonna be more important than what you can do on the football field. Who you are as a person will always be more important than what you can do on the football field. Stress that to those kids. Um, I seldom have issues with a kid missing an assignment that goes to class all the time, uh, that stays off a list, uh, that's uh, sitting in the front of meetings, um, uh, but the result that I want is for the guy to execute his assignments. But if I spend my time on the things that have nothing to do with him executing his assignments, I think usually you'll get the product that you want at the end of the day. Uh, and then I'm always, when you're, when you're judging and, and, and seeing your players, I'm always asking myself, are they responding to the same situation differently? I think that's really the measure of growth is are, are they, when you're presented with the same thing over and over and over again, if you continually do the same thing over and over again, good or bad or whatever it is, how much change, how much development, how much growth is really taking place in your player's life? Um, you're going to get presented with these things over and over again. Are you responding differently? And, and, and really what we talk about is transformation versus confirmation. You know, are you becoming something different or are you just doing something different? Are you trying to uh, uh, physically grow and develop and mature, and it, and it always goes back. Um, I heard somebody put it to me one time this way, it, 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 talking about a, a woman being pregnant. Uh, it just takes time. The baby's in there, uh, but over time, things are going to change. She's going to look differently. She's going to walk differently. Uh, that's growth. That's development. Uh, but, but it's so important to me, to me, I, I think when we're dealing with, with, our, with our kids, you know, who are you as a person? And, and, and that development and that maturity that's taking place in their lives.